The Cube's live coverage is made possible by funding from Dell Technologies, creating technologies that drive human progress. Hey everyone, guys and gals, good to see you. It's The Cube live in Barcelona at MWC 23. Lisa Martin here with Dave Vellante on day one of four days of wall-to-wall -wall Cube coverage. Dave, today's ecosystem day. We've had some great conversations about why the open ecosystem is so important and some of the key players in it. Well, and I'm in search of disruptors, so I'm looking for, okay, who are the network operators that are going to actually lean into the future and drive it and challenge the existing incumbents. Uh, we're going to talk about that We're going to today. be talking about that next. We've got one of our alumni back with us. Satish Iyer is here, the Vice President of Emerging Services at Dell. Great to have you back on the program. Thank you. Richard Leitau is with us as well, the Vice President of National Development at Dish Network. Welcome. Pleasure to be here. So lots of, this is day one, the theme is velocity. I feel like the day has gone by so quickly, but Dell and Dish have partnered together on a multi-year initiative to build your nationwide cloud native 5G network that's going to cover a lot of the US. Talk a little bit about that partnership, we'll get both of your perspectives. Richard, we'll start with you. Sure, so thank you again for having me. Um, so Dish had an opportunity uh, of, of um, uh, going through this experience of uh, innovating once more. Um, for the ones that know Dish, Dish uh, is a company that was founded in 1980 by uh, an innovator, a disruptor. Um, of course, uh, uh, in the course of the next 40 years, we had the opportunities of even disrupting ourselves. We launched our first satellite TV uh, um, uh, service. We then launched the first streaming, video streaming platform, disrupting our own satellite business. And since 2008, uh, we have been acquiring Spectrum. And you know, Spectrum, the most valuable asset of a wireless operator. Uh, we felt that this was the right opportunity, having 5G having ORAN, um, and uh, we decided to uh, go full in, in a greenfield project, um, building a, a national network, 5G ORAN cloud-based network, a one of a kind network uh, in, in the US. And, and most of all, using ORAN, it's very important to us, what, what it can bring, and it can bring to DISH, but to the entire ecosystem of, of this sector in the US. So Jesus, talk a little bit about the partnership from Dell's perspective and some of the unique advantages that Dell is delivering to DISH. Oh, absolutely. Uh, again, uh, like Richard was saying, I mean, the telecom network is being disaggregated as we speak. Um, you know, uh, companies like DISH and everybody else is looking at what are the best in class technologies we can bring to the table. Um, I would like to say that you know the cloud is coming to the telco world, right? Uh, a lot of us have seen the tremendous transformation in the cloud world in the last few years. Um, now, you know, Dish is a big enterprise company. Uh, as you know, you know we are pretty strong uh, within the cloud space and enterprise space. So, what we try to work with Dish uh, is Dell is to bring to Dish is you know, that notion of cloud scale and the cloud ecosystem into telecom, right? By means best in class infrastructure products, best in class software products, to allow somebody like Dish to innovate and you know, basically expand and build their own network. So it's absolutely important for us as we build and get into the telecom space to work with somebody like Dish, who's also disrupting as a carrier in that space. So it's early days for Open RAN, but you've decided, okay, we're all in. Yeah. Right. So you, <laughs> you burn the bridge, as they say. <laughs> Go for it. Um, so when you talk to most people, they say, "Okay, it's 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 immature. Uh, to, it, it's got to be able to get to the levels of of the, the the hardened stack reliability." But of course, it brings the advantage of flexibility yeah. and speed. Are you optimizing for one or the other right now? How are you dealing with that balance? Well, it's it's not mature in the sense that most of operators that think about it, they have a legacy network. And in order to go full in on the ORAN side, they need to scrap a lot of things that they have, and honestly, they don't want, and it doesn't make sense. So being a greenfield operator gives us that advantage. Um, give us the advantage, and, and disaggregation, it's all about chipsets, uh, uh, boxes, and software. And the chipsets part, and you know, what I like the most in disaggregation is the time of innovation the time that we can use new chipsets coming into the market. Um, 
the size of the boxes that we are using. Obviously, our footprint on site is much smaller than uh, traditional carriers or proprietary systems. So, all of that, Dell has been critical in supporting us, supporting us having the best chipsets, having the uh, smallest footprint, and you know, the software, the cycle of innovation is much faster than in proprietary systems. So, it's maturing. Um, uh, I'm glad to say that probably two years ago here, Oran was more like a, a pilot type of uh, 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 technology. It is not, we are live. We are live for more than 30 million customers in the US and, um, and you know, the performance levels are very similar to traditional networks. So you don't just buy a nationwide cloud native 5G network out of the box. You gotta, no you don't. You got to build it. So I'm curious as to what Dell's role is in, in, that, in that build out. Right. How, and how, I'm curious how, to, how you would grade yeah. Dell, but we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, look, uh, yes you don't. So I think the, the, the first and foremost is, again, as, uh, as we, Dell comes into the telco space, one of the things we have to look at is to understand what makes Dell better in the enterprise space. Right? It is the best in class infrastructure. It is the software ties together. As you talk about disaggregated networks, it's important to understand a lot of these piece parts have to st be stitched together, right? So I think the integration and integration aspects becomes really key, which is really Dell is very good at. So one of the things we are working really closely with Dish Tech you know, Richard was alluding to is bringing all, not just bringing all the software and hardware assets together, but it's how do you continuously innovate and keep fixing things faster, right? So in the old days, traditional ways, you have a software stack, it takes you 18 months, 20 months to actually get an upgrade done. Here, we have continuously CI/CD pipelines, where if you want to change done within, it's within a weeks or within a few days, where we can actually go and test and make sure these things work. So I think a lot of the best enterprise software practices cloud practices combined with whatever needs for telco actually is what makes it very unique. I, I saw that this started out as an FCC compliance initiative that turned yeah. into a partnership, obviously a very successful one. Richard, talk about what DISH saw in Dell that really made it the right choice, knowing you have choices, you have options. You know, we saw the capability to execute, but we also saw the capability to innovate. Uh, from an execution level, at the end of the day, uh, like we were uh, talking, uh, we started the project in the middle of COVID. And uh, we had the first mandate to cover 20% of the US population by June 2022, and now we have a second one, 70% of US population by June 2023. At the beginning of the project, it was all about availability of materials, logistics, how to distribute, how to transport yeah. material. So Dell, as a world-class supply chain, um, we felt that working with Dell through all these challenges made things easier. So from an execution perspective, whenever you need to build a network and you, you are building thousands of sites, you need to have materials, you need to distribute them, and you need to install them. Uh, uh, Dell helped us across the board. Um, our expectations obviously will change. We have a network, we want to cooperate with Dell in many other areas. We want to um, you know, leverage on Dell uh, ability to reach the enterprise market, uh, to have private 5G offers. So um, hopefully this collaboration will endure in time and, and you know, will change and evolve in time. And it's a big bet. I mean, it's not, like a sing it's not like a little transaction that you guys are doing. I feel like you know, Michael Dell and Eric Carlson had dinner and they said, okay, we're going we're gonna to partner up and this yeah. is going to be a multi-decade partnership, Absolutely. you had to be transparent. Hey, we're new at this, yep. even though we're really good yep. at enterprise tech. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to, obviously, if you take a chance on us, here's what we promise you. Absolutely. And vice versa, you guys had to say, all right, hey, we're willing to roll the dice because we're trying to change the world. So what was that dynamic like? I mean, how did, <laughs> I'm curious as to, there has to be a lot of different levels, engineering, Absolutely. senior management, board level discussions. Yeah, you know, we deal. felt a huge buy-in from <laughs> Dell on the open run concept. Right? Yeah, okay. And you know, edge computing and, and the ability to get us the best product and evolve the best product. Um, Intel is, is critical in all these uh, offerings. Um, Intel has a great relationship with Dell. Dell helped us, uh, uh, Dell, sponsor the DISH program in some of these uh, uh, suppliers. So yeah. it was definitely uh, 
good to have their support and the buy-in on the ORAN concept. We felt it from day one and we felt secure on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, to add to that, I mean, you know, DISH was very instrumental in driving, e dictating, and uh, executing to our roadmap, right? They are one of the key, I mean, since they are out there and they are really trying to innovate, it's important that a customer who's actually at the out front of innovation helps us drive our own roadmap. So to uh, Richard's point, a lot of our product roadmaps in terms of what we built and all that was based on what DISH thinks as going to be market-based requirements. Um, they also helped us a lot in the integration aspects. Like I said, one of the things about open disaggregation of these networks is there is a lot of integration because you know there is, it's not a one, one monolithic pipe smokestack anymore. You're picking up best in class pieces, bits and pieces, and tying it together. And it's important to understand when you tie it together, things will go wrong, right? So there is a lot of learnings from an integration standpoint, supportability, deployment. Uh, one of the things Richard talked about was supply chain. You know, our Dell's ability to a lot of these deployments, a lot of these configs in the factory, right? In the second touch. So especially a lot of these partnerships started during COVID time. And as you all know, you know, what we went through two years ago, so we had to make sure that a lot of these things are done in one place in a factory and not done in the field because we couldn't do a lot of these things. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of experimentation, a lot of, lot, lot of innovation on so that. So it's 2030. What's this look like? What's the vision? We can work backwards from there. Well, a, a great network. Um, uh, coverage to the entire country. Um, bringing new services uh, to enterprises, to verticals, um, bringing value add to customers, um, and uh, you know, uh, technology cycles, they are uh, lasting much less than they were. Um, I cannot even say what will happen in three years, uh, 2030, <laughs> I mean, I know, I know somebody has a vision for 2030, <laughs> that's another thing. <laughs> So we, a lot of it is build it and they will come, right? I mean, yeah. it really is, right? You put that network in place and then innovation happens on top. That's the best. Yeah, that and making. look, and, and I think the biggest, people think about open run in terms of cost, which, you know, you, you have some uh, things in cost that you appreciate in open run. The footprint, the, the possibility to diversify suppliers and, and have uh, more competition. But for me, Open RAN is about innovation and mm -hmm. cycles of innovation. Um, I used to work for Nokia, uh, I used to work for Alcatel. Um, I knew uh, from the generation of an idea to uh, an execution and having a feature delivered to a certain customer, it, it took months. Um, we want innovation to take weeks. We are innovating at the speed, speed of the cloud. Uh, we are uh, cooperating with new uh, players, players uh, on the cloud, and, and uh, we expect things to happen much faster than they traditionally happen on the telecom sector. Move fast and break things. Well, we also expect that break speed. Break and fix. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. But speaking of speed, your customers expect that, right? They expect the service to be up 24 seven. They expect to be able to access whatever content they want, whenever they want, from wherever they are. So comment, Richard, in our last few minutes here of, of how the, the Dell partnership is helping DISH to really deliver the excellent customer experience that your customers just expect that you're going to deliver. Well, by setting up the system, number one, uh, we are leveraging on a number of services, and I mentioned the supply chain, but in reality, Dell made much more than that for our 20% milestone, and it's supporting our 70% milestone by um, installing, uh, um, testing, verifying uh, most of our data center equipment. Uh, we found that this offering from Dell was uh, really addressing some of our needs because um, you know, we, we believe they know a lot in this area and they, they can provide the best advice and the best speed to market in, in terms of uh, having this equipment. Because we are working on a time clock, we need to have this uh, done as soon <coughs> as possible. Um, you know, for the future, uh, I hope that they can help us uh, in driving more services. I hope they can bring all the infrastructure that we need to offer to our customers. And, um, you know, uh, we keep committed to ORAN. ORAN is really important. We are not compromising that. And um, I think the future is bright for both of us. Yeah, and Dell learns from the experience. Exactly. Absolutely. Like There's got to be a catalyst for expanding your roadmap and vision. Um, in telecom. I, I, yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, you were asked a 2030 question, and I think that 
you know, six, seven years from now, I think people should look at what Dish and Dell and say they were the trailblazers of make, bringing open run to the market and making 5G a reality. I mean, you talk about 5G, but every 5G is on a different stages. I do think that this combination, this partnership has the best chance to be the first ones to actually have a truly open run network to be successful in yeah. the Awesome guys, trailblazers, Dell and Dish. Well, we look forward to watching this story unfold. Thank you, Thank you. for joining Thank Dave you. and me on the program today talking about what you're doing together. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Our pleasure. Bye. For our guests and for Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from Barcelona at MWC 23. We'll be back after a short break, so we'll see you soon.